Man, this girl band has got the introverts involved. <laughs> Fun fact is, I don't even know how to swim, by the way. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will literally fry my hair. It's pretty good. The cheese has melted. What is that? Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. The plan for today morning is to go up to the swimming pool. That's why I look like this because I am drenched in sunblock. White cast everywhere. <laughs> SPF 50. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I've, I've been planning to go to the swimming pool because I want to do my hair. And once I do my hair, there's no way I'm dipping it in some chlorinated water. But I don't know. Global warming has just... I don't know if it's global warming, but we live in the desert anyway. Although I feel like this summer is a bit more extreme than other summers. Maybe I will go for like 30 minutes to an hour, just quick, quick, and get it out of my system because we're not utilizing this pool the way we're supposed to be. Fun fact is, I don't even know how to swim, by the way. I don't know how to swim, but I can't drown either. You see those videos where they throw a baby into the swimming pool? Those swimming lessons for babies, I mean infants, below a year, six months, seven months, whatever. Those small babies, they throw them in the pool and then you see how they go under the water and they come back floating on their back. This is as far as my swimming skills go. I can tread water, can float on my back very well, but if you ask me to do a breaststroke, <laughs> if you ask me to do um, freestyle, butterfly, whatever they call those styles. Just reach out in front of you and grab a handful of water. Nothing. Yes, I will not drown, but no, I can't swim. So I'm just doing it for fun, for the vibes. You know what I'll do? I'll just run up there quick first and then come back before the sun really comes out because right now there's a bit of cloud cover so it's not direct sunlight. I came back from the pool, washed my hair, and then I straightened it. So we have some hang time. Oh, now One thing about me is I may strike you as a natural hair enthusiast, but I'm really not. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will literally fry my hair. I will fry it, I will cut it, I will braid it. I want to color it, but I haven't found the courage for that yet. I am far from a natural hair enthusiast. For that blow dry, I will fry my hair. The only thing I'm afraid of is being bald because I, I believe I don't have the head shape for it. The back of my head is pretty much flat, like Sinekisogo. The only thing I cannot handle is I don't want to be bald. That's why I maintain the hair as best as I can possible. And then another thing is I would love to relax my hair or texturize it, but where I am currently, I haven't seen a lot of beauty salons that handle afro hair well and the few that do are very pricey so i'm still thinking about it because also it's a permanent decision 
and I like to play with my hair a lot when it's in natural state I feel like it's easier to do so many different things with it than when it's relaxed or anything like that anyway so uh, I need to go to my braid bank and check which braids I have because I'm just thinking of doing um, what do you call it basic just the basic box braid like I have I haven't come up with anything interesting or fancy that I want to do that I can do a tutorial for so maybe it will just be some basic box braids those edges that hair transplant better happen soon my hair looks like needles because I had blow dried my hair like the braids look really really small and thin so I'm going to just crochet some curly braids into my my skinny braids they look like needles oh my god <laughs> I look like that kid from Rugrats at least now I don't look like I have needles on my head anymore it's a lot more better now I have a bit of volume I'll see you tomorrow I just finished doing my chores for the day so I want to get into doing some artwork um, I have the new canvases that I got last time from Daiso there's something I am thinking about doing and I don't know how it's going to turn out but I feel like it's going to be an interesting idea I have a bunch of beads and jewels from my what is that I have a bunch of beads and uh, yeah, beads, crystals, I don't know what to call them, the ones that I use for jewelry making. So I want to see if I can do a mosaic of some artwork with paint and then use the jewels to kind of zhuzh it up. I have no idea how I'm going to execute it but I think those two will work together because the beads are really pretty like they come in different colors so I want to see if I can get that all together in one piece of artwork. Hopefully I will be able to finish it soon. If I don't finish it, then probably the results will be in the next video. But one thing that is bothering me is the situation in Kenya with the protests and the financial bill. I am one of those people who say I don't do politics and yet now politics is living all of us. I have exercised my right to 
vote before but generally i don't follow along in what's happening with politics but this time in a turamba like it has come home the issue has come home so everybody has to get involved there's no more excuse of i don't do politics or anything like that we are all affected so whenever you're able to do something do it i can't talk much about it because right now i still don't know what i'm going to do or what i'm supposed to do but i know i need to do something and i feel like that's the attitude that everyone should adopt especially for those people who say they don't get involved in political things i will not get involved in political discussions with people because that usually just goes haywire like there's a lot of opportunity for arguments negativity and all that so that i cannot do but in terms of being aware awake and taking action on legislative matters that is going to affect our lives and our futures then definitely everybody needs to get involved so i'll be looking for information you also look for information man this government has got the introverts involved <laughs> it's too much but yeah it's a lot to think about anyway let me get to this artwork Why is this cheese in such unreasonable packaging? I don't know if I should slice it or grate it. pretty good the cheese has melted
another plate for my sweetheart so ignore the mess behind me i have some lettuce cucumber then i have the quesadillas sour cream and lime for eating that a 15 minute nap on the couch and I don't know if I was this super super exhausted or what it was but I woke up was it like 15 to 30 minutes and I woke up feeling like what year is it it was one of those naps I've made some progress on my art project but I will not show you what it looks like today we'll find out on the next video so let me just close off this video here like this time to say thank you for watching all the way until the end and i will see you on the next one bye